Welcome to another installment of the Ringside Review. This is your host, Bruce Lee. On today's episode, my predictions on two fights coming up this weekend. Uh, I can't get to them all now, but just two fights. Uh, we have Alfredo Angelo versus James Kirkland. This is a WBC junior middleweight eliminator, title eliminator. And the second fight between Lucian Boutte versus Glenn Johnson. And this is for the IBF Super Middleweight Championship. First up, my prediction on Alfredo Angelo versus James Kirkland. Uh, they are both evenly matched uh, as far as height and reach goes. Uh, this should be a heck of a fight. I'm going to go with, uh, give you the stat line first. Uh, we have Alfredo Angelo, 20 and 1, with 17 KOs, 5 and 0 in his last 5 fights. And all five have ended in a knockout victory for uh, Angelo. We, on the other side, we have James Kirkland, 29 and 1, with 26 KOs, 4 and 1 in his last five. And of course, we all know uh, what happened to James back in April of this year when he got knocked out um, in the first round. It was a, a TKO loss for him, but uh, most of his fights have ended with either him knocking someone out or he, of course, that one time he only, he gets knocked out himself. That's the only time he has been knocked out, people. Only time. One and only. Uh, but this should be an evenly contested bout. Uh, I'm going to go with James Kirkland by knockout. I'm going with round number eight. The reason for my prediction, the basis on this, I'm going with uh, Kirkland's trainer, Ann Wolf. Uh, he, she has had the boy ready, or the man ready, uh, since she has took over as his trainer, back over as his trainer. She was his trainer at first, then he switched. We all know a story. Well, if you don't, you know, he's been to, been to prison for a few years and, and got released. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, James Kirkland, uh, with Ann Wolf as his trainer in this corner. Eight round KO. I, I believe the guy is real hungry right now. He is real hungry. He's like a pit bull. I know he I know he got knocked out back in April, but oh well. Oh well. Stuff happens sometimes. Stuff happens. But he is in line for the WBC's version of the Junior Middleweight Championship, which is held by Canelou Saul Alvarez right now. Uh Angelo has been talking a lot of trash, trying to get at uh uh Canelou. For, for a little while here, uh, thanks to Psycho Boxing Fan for informing me of his, uh, not his mouthy tactics, but Angelo's mouthy tactics, uh, trying to get at Canelou. Uh But anyway, he will have a, a tough bout coming up here on this Saturday versus James Kirkland, which Kirkland will win, in my opinion, in, in eight with the KO. Uh, the next, next fight I would like to predict will be the Boutte versus Glenn Johnson fight. This is for the IBF Super Middleweight Championship. Uh, we have Boutte ranked number three in the Super Middleweight Division by the Ring Magazine. And we have Glenn Johnson ranked number seven by the Ring Magazine in the Super Middleweight Division. This is another evenly contested bout in my opinion. But I do want to warn Boutte, this will not be a walk in the park. I repeat. This will not be a walk in the park. We all know Glenn Johnson will not give up. He will not stop. He will go on the road and take on anyone. He doesn't care. Uh, that, that's my warning to Boutte. Do not take this lightly or you will not get a shot at uh, Andre Ward or Carl, the winner of Andre Ward, Carl Frotz, coming up here uh, shortly. Do not take this guy lightly. If so, it's over. It's over, but, but if he doesn't, if Boutte shows up to fight and doesn't take Glenn Johnson lightly, I have Boutte winning this one by unanimous. Well, no, nah, I'm not going unanimous. Boutte will win this one by a split decision, a split decision victory. And let me go ahead and give you the rundown, uh, the stat line on these two. We have Boutte 29-0 with 24 KOs. He is 5-0 in his last five fights with five KOs. Glenn Johnson, 51-15-2 with 35 KOs. 
And in his last five, he is two and three. Uh, but those fights were highly contested in those three three losses he had. Uh, the two fights he has won, they both have been by knockout. Um, but once again, I have Butte by split decision. He will retain his IBF Super Middleweight Championship. Uh, but I just want to throw that as a warning, an underscore. Butte, you better not take this lightly or the title will be lifted off of your hands come this Saturday. Uh, just a couple of side notes before I get out of here. Uh, Chris Ariola back in action on this coming Saturday, on this weekend. Also, we have Gailamo Jones versus Mike Maroney for the WBA Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, also, just a, a side note, uh, Showtime and HBO is going head-to-head -head this weekend. HBO, of course, with the Angelo and Kirkland fight, and Showtime with the Butte and Johnson fight. Uh, going head-to-head -head this week weekend, Showtime and HBO. Uh, we'll see who prevails in that battle between the networks. Uh, another side note, and please leave comments. Because uh, I do want to pose a question. This is my question for the week. Why in the heck is Roy Jones Jr. taking another fight? Please somebody tell me that one. Please somebody answer me. Please. Roy Jones, if you hear me, please. Uh, just stop it. You had a wonderful career. Uh, you should have stopped after the, the Tarver, the series with Tarver. But, of course, we all know things don't stay in place. You know, I should say things don't go how we want them to go. Because I know, as an athlete, ex-athlete myself, you know, you hold on to stuff. Maybe that's what it is. You're holding on to something. Uh, you just miss the time in the ring or whatever it is. But please, 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 somebody ask me this. Is, is Roy Jones Jr. broke? Or is he just holding on to, you know, the past and, and he won't let anything go? Is he delusional right now? Does he think he is B-Hop? I don't know. Or any other older fighter? For that matter, Glenn Johnson? Um, I don't know. Somebody asked me that one. Question of the week. Why is Roy Jones Jr. still fighting? Please let me know what you think. Uh, before we get out of here, I do want to uh, say a rest in peace um, to a, a boxer, uh, 2000, well, not to him, his sister, him and his sister, uh, Pedro Sosa, uh, this past weekend, where they were both in a tragic accident. His sister, Jennifer Sosa, passed away. Uh, I want to say rest in peace to her. Uh, also for Sosa, last I heard he was still in a coma. Uh, please keep, you know, keep fighting Sosa. I know you can't, you know, don't know what's going on in the outside world right now, but uh, keep your head up. That's my, my, my prayer to you. Keep your head up and keep fighting. And I don't care whatever religion or not religion you're, you're a part of. Uh, just keep your boy Pedro Sosa in mind. Uh, he's still in the coma. Uh, had a, they had a car accident um, in the Bronx this past weekend. But until next time, uh, peace out and y'all have a good one.